simple. And, um, and um, you know, uh, the stories are simple, and we know, we know what happened to them, so we don't have to uh, make a play about what happened to them. We know what finally happened, yeah? But to create the everyday life, the everyday <clears throat> excitement, <coughs> vitality. I get vitality, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a very fierce need to express and to survive and to live. Today I was listening. I went to the Jewish Museum just to think about it. The little bagel, you know the little shop that's open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That kind of <coughs> they were playing Yiddish music. Very fierce Yiddish music. I thought we should have these meetings only and have all rehearsals with that music playing. Okay. <laughs> because that music is so crazy, so vibing, so lustful. And we should be reminded always that there's a tremendous spirit in it to, to break forth and you know to have spirit that's isn't that what what, what what what's there you know i think the yiddish is um you know it's uh, you know it would be nice to have that kind of uh, music all the time around you and, and remember how how you know um, it seems like they're always waiting for a celebration mm. to celebrate something you know, and of course, most of the people are very, very poor, so it's a wonderful, mm -hmm. yeah. wonderful world. I also get from, from it the love of community mm -hmm. is so strong in the book. They're all mm -hmm. part of this community. Mm -hmm. Everybody, whether they're a prostitute or the rabbi, or the, everybody is a, a part of the community. Maybe a bad part of the community, maybe a good part of the community, but part of the community, part of the whole fabric. Sure. Yeah. And you have, in Lithuania is very much a community country too, isn't it? Yeah. I saw everybody celebrating the king's birthday yesterday. Yeah. Same thing. The, the need to be part of the... Uh, Yeah, I think it would be good to, to, in my 